Hi, this is Matt with AppliancePartsPros.com. Today we'll be showing you how to repair your appliance. Remember, anytime you work on an appliance, make sure it's unplugged or the circuit breakers are off so there's no chance of electrocution. In this video, we're going to show you how to change out the outer oven door glass. It's going to be a very easy repair and should only take a few minutes to show you how to do it. If you already have one of these, great. If not, you can click on the link below or get it at AppliancePartsPros.com. When you open up the package, you're going to get the new outer door glass. The main reason you'd be changing out the outer door glass is if it's shattered or cracked and you need to replace it. In order to take the glass out, we have to remove the upper two screws on the inner panel. In most cases, your glass broke, so you're not going to have any glass to take out, but you're still going to have to remove the screws to get this upper trim off. Once you have the two screws out, if your glass is still there, make sure you hold it so it doesn't fall off, and then you can lift the trim off. If your glass is still in one piece, go ahead and lift it out of the bottom rail. Make sure your trim pieces on the side don't fall out. Here's the new oven door glass. If you already have one of these, great. If not, you can get it at AppliancePartsPros.com. When you're putting the new outer door glass on, it sits in this little rail right here. And then on the upper half, when you put the trim on, you have to make sure that the glass goes into this slot right here. Okay, to put the new door glass in, we have to set it down in the channel. Making sure that you push the trim pieces in on each side. Once you have the glass in, you can open up the door a little bit so we can put the handle and trim assembly on. Making sure you hold the glass so it doesn't fall out because there's nothing holding it in. Make sure that the glass goes into this slot right here and make sure that the trims go on the inside of the end cap. Once you have the trim in place, make sure you don't let go of it, otherwise the glass is going to fall out of the door. Once you have it in place, we can put the screws back in. Now that you're finished repairing your electric range, you can plug it back in and test it out. Thanks for joining us for another successful repair brought to you by AppliancePartsPros.com. Check out our other repair videos on our site, Facebook, and YouTube.